Hey guys, Andrew here with Great Lakes Sprouts Media. Today we're gonna to show you guys how to make a cheap and effective, high quality compost bin. Really easy to do, not a lot of materials. I'm gonna show you guys, let's go. All right guys, this is just galvanized steel fencing. If you look over here, down there, we've got some uh, chain link fencing. Sometimes people build these things out of old pallets. You gotta be careful, old pallets doesn't have any type of treated chemicals in it. You wanna get the, it's, it'll say HT on the side, heat treated. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a really effective and fast compost bin with this stuff. So basically, we have a cylindrical shape here. You can do a square, but we're gonna do a cylindrical shape. You don't wanna just throw your compost on the ground. It'll just start flattening out and kind of moving away. We wanna contain it build walls, insulation from the outside so the compost can break down from the inside, create heat. And so over time, you just keep adding it over here. You can put our food scraps in here, sticks, leaves, and over time, you'll start to see a beautiful, rich compost we can use for our soils and amendments and things around the yard. Let's start building this thing. All right, guys, so I got this piece here. I'm gonna cut it to about 20 feet. Uh, like I said, you can find this in any hardwood store. Oh, we got a little buddy over here. He's gonna, we're gonna show him how to make a compost bin as well. He's interested. You can go a little bit shorter, you can cut it shorter if you want. Some of it by just using some wire cutters. I'm gonna take this bad end off here and just snip it right down the middle. Nothing too crazy, but you can see that's got a really nice edge to it. Go all the way down. I made this one a little bit taller because I'm taller. You can cut this around too to make it shorter if you want show you guys once this thing's built. Just watch yourself. So there we have it. So ideally, you want this thing to be out of sight. You know, you're gonna be putting food scraps and everything, not too close to the house if something smells. Um, and it's kind of unsightly once you start seeing a pile of sticks and leaves and food scraps. So I'm gonna put this in the back end of my property, kind of in the woods. People think, oh, you should put it in the sun, but you don't want it in the sun because the sun can cause the compost to dry out too fast. The heat of the compost is from the microbial action in the compost breaking down. That's what's gonna heat it up. We want the moisture levels to be at a good moisture level. If it dries out, you know, you, got, you gotta look at the compost pile as a living organism. They rely on water just like plants do, just like we do. So we wanna make sure our compost, style, compost pile stays moist, either using rainwater during the hottest times of the year, or just put it like in a shadier spot, not too full sun, but not completely uh, shaded. So I'm gonna put it in the backwoods here. Let's move this thing over there. So here guys, we're gonna circumference this whole area here. I cleared everything out. I see a lot of composting videos. If they put a solid ground in it, you don't want that because you want other microbes from the soil to come up through it too. Plus we want good drainage. We don't want this stuff just sitting at the bottom becoming anaerobic. This is gonna allow good drainage, good drainage from the bottom, allow other bugs and things to enter from the base as well. There's about our shape right there. I'm gonna grab a couple more things to show you guys how to make this thing structurally strong and doesn't take that long. And uh, I'm gonna go grab the post real quick and the hammer. So here guys, we have some old recycled posts. You can find these at any hardware store as well. This is the base that goes down. You can clip the wire into these. You can bend these out if they're bent back. You can use these zip ties, or if you have metal twine, you can use that too to hold it. But we're gonna just make a perfectly four-cornered area, but make it a circle or a square, however you, whatever shape you like. Grab my hammer here. I wanna utilize this area as best as possible. So I'm gonna move this a little bit over more. Put the first pole in. This part goes on the outside. I got old poles too, you know, old scrap metal. You can use it as well. Doesn't have to be these. You can even use old sticks and things like that, but this stuff's a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my first post in. We just want that tail at the bottom I showed you earlier just to be underneath the ground. I'm gonna show how these things hook up. These things get bent with time. Just get in there, pry it open a little bit. This one's pretty good. Pry this one open a little bit. Like I said, you can use zip ties too. This doesn't have to be done this way. Whatever is the fast, most efficient way to connect the fence to the 
pull. So these little twine things, you just want to get the middle into them. Get them all lined up. This being the most difficult part, but it'll get done. Go back through. Make sure they're all set inside. And then push down. There we go. Looks like you got a couple of them there. Just come back later with some zip ties. But we just want this to hold right now, just for temporary. Got them all. As long as you get two or three of them in, you're pretty much good. See how that's holding it right there? Got that in. It's pretty strong. But yeah, like I said, add a zip tie. If you got some extra gauge steel, you can wrap it around too to make it a little bit stronger. Then we're gonna add three more. Make this thing a nice circle. Yeah, just be careful when you're doing this, you want to wear gloves. Yeah, I cut myself already a couple times, but especially if you got rust. But it doesn't hurt me too bad, but you want to wear gloves if you can. Just bending this out. This is old fencing that I had. Stuff's not cheap, so I like to reuse things, recycle. See, this thing doesn't have to be perfect. Ideally, we just want a nice circle like that. You can even attach these. I cut these in the middle like that so I can just spin this around. If you use pliers, you can grab these a little bit more efficiently. Go to the top here. We'll start at the top and work our way down. Take that and just bend it through this way. I'm gonna have to do a couple of them, guys. It doesn't have to be, this isn't, we're not building a house here. Compost pile. Eventually I'll probably cut one side down so I have an easier way to access this. Yeah, you know, when you cut your roll, cut it in the middle so you have these little things to intertwine them with. Our last pull. Where's our slow chamber at? I just put it down somewhere right here. There it is. I want to just pull this out. Make sure it's nice and round. That looks like a good spot to me. Alright, let this one in. This pull's a little bit bent, but. It'll do. All right, there's that, guys. Yeah, if you have uh, zip ties, twine, just go through and hook these up with the twine. This will help critters and stuff from getting in here, too. If you want to add some chicken wire around the base, you can. So there's smaller holes around it. All right, I got these landscaping pins. This isn't super crucial, but you can put these down there if you want. They'll help hold it. If you got a bag of them laying around, like I got thousands of them. I'm gonna add a couple more little bars later too if you want. Put them around the base. So keep critters and stuff from going in, especially if you're adding other food scraps in here. You can stick this through. Make sure you cut off your ends so you're not running into this later and cutting yourself. Put that through just to hold it. Like I said, guys, this is nothing crazy here. Tool, you take this. Grab them both at the same time, and then twist. Zip ties would be more ideal. I'm just gonna add a couple of these though. I'll pull it. We'll add one to each post. Start seeing this thing budging, you know, just uh, add some more poles to it, a little bit more structural support. But uh, yeah, just start filling this thing up with uh, leaves and sticks and 
over time you have a nice beautiful compost. Like I said, you don't want to just throw stuff into a pile because it's just going to flatten out. This is going to help hold it in, make a insulation on the outside. Like I said earlier, the idea of a compost is it heats itself from the inside. You're going to flip it every so often. You can make multiple of these if you want and have areas of successions of compost. Um, but if you're doing it right, they can treat lots of moisture and good carbon and nitrogen ratio. Nitrogen ratio should make compost pretty quickly. So I got some sticks and leaves here. You can start adding some of this stuff at the bottom. Just literally throw it in there. Like I said, the more broken down it is, the faster it's gonna break down in the compost. We got a pile of leaves, we can add that in there too. Let's get some leaves. All right, so I got some leaves here. You can add as many as you want. Like I said, if you shred them, just put them in there. Pile it up. Keep adding it. Keep going as high as you can. Fill her up. High as you can, you'll see over time, it's gonna just slow go, slowly go down. Ideally, I'll show you guys what compost looks like when it's done. That's right here from another pile I had. I just put it in this bucket. But the inside of your pile, over time, you're gonna get this beautiful, dark, rich compost. This is what it should look like as it starts breaking down in the middle. You can flip it. Once this stuff starts being made in that container there, you can put this and put it in another pile. You got finished compost. Like I said, you can make several of these things and have them in successions. But when you're making good compost, it shouldn't smell like this. It should smell like just like dirt. It shouldn't be any aerobic or nasty, sour smell to it. I'm gonna add some of this compost too, since this is living microbial compost. Help speed up the process of this stuff breaking down too. Help crush it down. I can add some more leaves. Add a little bit more compost to there that I have laying around. I got plenty of it, so I'm adding some life to this thing to get it going faster. Like I said, in the summertime months, we wanna keep this thing from drying out too. We don't want it to dry out, just like a plant. There's living stuff in here. There's funguses, bacteria, protozoa, all types of stuff going on in here. But yeah, add leaves into here, sticks, food scraps, whatever you guys have around the house. They say you want a 30 to one ratio of carbon to nitrogen. So when I say nitrogen and carbon, I've mentioned this before in my other videos, carbon is like dead things like leaves and sticks, where nitrogen is gonna be living things like green leaves and things like that. So if I add, I wanna add more dead things, sticks, leaves, brown things to here, coffee grounds, things like that, and a little bit of green stuff. Because if it, you, you'll be able to tell, if you start getting a real bad smell, it means you're getting anaerobic bacteria growing. It's not composting properly. Um, but yeah, just from here on out, just start throwing leaves in here. The more something broke down, the better it's gonna be. Um, grind it up, leaves like I showed in my last video. You have a mixture, the finer it is, the faster it'll break down. You don't wanna add logs and things into here. Uh, it's gonna take a long time to break down. Here's an example of another compost pile that's been going on for a while now. Let's move some of this back and see what's going on in the middle. Oh wow, you can look at this microbial action going on. It's real warm in here. Look at this beautiful compost, guys. We could remove this stuff, put it in a separate area and fertilize our plants with it or make a tea. But there you have it, guys. Here's a fast and easy, efficient way how to build a compost pile bin. Not a lot, of, not, doesn't cost a lot. Real easy to do, didn't take long. If you guys have more questions, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to comment below. Thanks guys for watching.